Today we are studying about important component of automobile. So how our automobile run on accelerator? No, exactly not. I am just kidding. It work on engine. When we see our bike, car or any other vehicle, we see outer component and also we use it such as clutch, gear, brake. But mainly automobile works on engine. Basically, we are trying to say that engine are necessary to be studied. Now, without any delay, we will proceed to see working of our engine. As shown in the above picture, the engine is looking same from inside. There are some part in engine which are visible on our screen are piston head, connecting rod, crankshaft, etc. Right now, we are going to see the motion take place in engine due to which our automobiles run. At the moment, we are seeing that crankshaft is rotating which leads to piston head movement to and fro means up and down but in engine it works completely opposite. The piston head moves due to combustion and expansion which make crankshaft to rotate. As a result, the gear of our automobile rotate and make our automobile works. It is difficult to understand so let us go in depth of engine working and smartly understand its basic. As we have seen the movement or motion take place in engine which I am showing you again on screen is carried into mainly 5 parts. Before learning about this 5 part, I forgot to tell you that there are two valves. One is inlet valve and other is exhaust valve. We can study the meaning of this valve by their name. Inlet valve means through this valve air is taken in and exhaust valve the exhaust air is taken out. Now exactly where does air get filled and from where it is discarded. So the air get filled in engine cylinder which come from carburetor. What does carburetor actually do? Carburetor filter the air and create a mixture of fuel and air in proper proportion. So to have the proper combustion. As I said engine work in 5 parts or 5 steps which take place between the inlet valve opening to exhaust wall closing. These 5 steps are suction, compression, combustion, expansion and exhaust. We will study about these 5 steps briefly. First, we will start with suction. In this step or process, the air is bring inside the engine cylinder. After completely filling up engine cylinder with air and fuel mixture, the inlet valve is closed. Now the engine cylinder is totally filled with air and fuel mixture. During this process, piston head moves from top dead center TDC to bottom dead center BDC. The second step is compression. At this step, the compression of air which is filled inside cylinder is done. While compressing process, the piston head moves from bottom dead center BDC to top dead center TDC due to which air get compressed and volume is reduced of air. Because of that, the temperature inside the cylinder increase till the point where a small spark can also make the whole mixture burn. Third process is combustion. Combustion means process of burning. In combustion, the spark is made due to which the mixture of air and fuel light up and burst, which creates some energy inside the cylinder. Now, Combustion engine are of two types, external combustion engine and internal combustion engine. Today we are focusing on internal combustion engine, IC engine. Our fourth step is expansion. In this process, the piston again move to bottom dead center BDC due to the energy created by the combustion. As the piston head move from top dead center TDC to bottom dead center BDC, the expansion take place. Our fifth and last process is exhaust. In exhaust, the burnt air is exhausted from the cylinder through exhaust wall. In this process, piston moves from bottom dead center BDC to top dead center TDC. This is how our five cycles are completed. Now, we will move to our main motive that is auto cycle. What is the auto cycle? Auto cycle describes how engine turn gasoline into motion means it tells us how internal combustion engine works. Just now 
we speak about five stages in two auto cycle these five stages are main as we are going to study these five stages in graphical method now as we can see there is volume on x axis and pressure is on y axis so we also called it auto cycle pv diagram now from 1 to 2 there is a inlet process where volume get increase in the cylinder but the pressure remain constant this process is called intake stroke the piston moves down creating a vacuum in the cylinder the intake valve opens and the air fuel mixture is drawn into the cylinder in second process as shown in graph from 2 to 3 the volume decreases and pressure increases this process is called compression stroke both intake and exhaust valve are closed the piston move up compress the air fuel mixture this increase its pressure and temperature graph from 3 to 4 the pressure increases with constant volume at this process combustion took place now from 4 to 5 the pressure decreases and volume increases this process is called power stroke the spark plug ignite the compressed air fuel mixture the rapid combustion create high pressure forcing the piston down which increase volume in the cylinder this is the stroke where the engine produces power from 5 to 6 process the heat loss is there where pressure is decreasing with constant volume now after this process from 2 to 1 exhaust stroke took place after the power stroke the exhaust valve opens and the piston moves up pushing the burnt gases out of the cylinder and making decrease in the volume now you may have this question that why we have to learn this auto cycle what is the purpose of learning auto cycle auto cycle is specially designed for spark ignition internal combustion engines commonly found in gasoline powered vehicle its purpose is to describe the idealized thermodynamic process that maximize the efficiency and power output of this engine